What'll give you a better result is to stream your normal horizontal canvas to YouTube and then shrink that down inside a vertical video frame for Instagram. Instagram used to only allow streaming from inside the Instagram app itself, but they recently opened up RTMP streaming to everybody. This RTMP streaming mode has two different ways it works. Either you can send a 16 by nine version like you would see on YouTube horizontal and Instagram will take the middle section of it, or you can actually send a vertical canvas over RTMP and Instagram won't crop. This means if you wanna stream the same thing to YouTube and Instagram, you actually end up in a weird situation. If you stream the same horizontal thing that you're streaming to YouTube, like what you're seeing now, and let Instagram crop in, then Instagram viewers are gonna see something like this, where it'll just be the middle part of the video. And chances are this actually isn't gonna look good because you probably aren't framing your content to look good cropped in like this. What'll give you a better result is to stream your normal horizontal canvas to YouTube and then shrink that down inside a vertical video frame for Instagram. So what we'll do in this video is set up a horizontal stream to YouTube and then put it on a vertical canvas like this and stream this to Instagram vertically. So first set up your horizontal stream like normal using whatever streaming encoder you want. But the key thing is you'll need to use an encoder that gives you an HDMI output of the stream. For example, the A10 Mini Extreme has two HDMI ports. One you can use for a multi-view and the second one you can set to be program out, passing through a copy of whatever is your main program feed. So grab an HDMI cable, go out of your ATM Mini Extreme into your second encoder. Now for this, you'll need another streaming encoder that supports a vertical canvas. Not every encoder can actually do this. The ATEM Mini, for example, can't. The ATEM Mini will always stream a horizontal canvas regardless of what you're pushing to. Things that can support a vertical canvas are either software on a computer like OBS or hardware like the Magewell Director Mini. With the Director Mini, you can create a 9x16 vertical canvas and stream portrait mode video to any platform. Normally, the Director Mini boots up into horizontal mode, but you can actually just go make a new show, and this is where you get to choose the orientation of the show. I'll choose 9x16. And I'll drop it down to 30 frames a second because I don't need 60. I'll go ahead and click Create, and now it rotates around and it's in vertical mode. So now on whatever encoder you're using for the vertical stream, you'll need to do two things. You'll need to set up a canvas that brings in the horizontal video and rotates it and put that on top of some background that makes sense for your channel. So for example, I'm gonna first add the HDMI one source, which is the output of my A10 mini. And you'll notice already it's rotated to the right direction. The director mini is really cool because you can actually just rotate this freely in whatever direction you want, but we actually do want it to be like that. We wanna make sure it's actually full screen and in the center so we can go ahead and tap on full screen to confirm. And then tap on position auto and we will choose this which is centering it. On my computer, I've already made this graphic with my brand colors and I've left a spot in the middle for the video to show through. So I'll put that onto an SD card on the Director Mini and we can load it in. So back on the Director Mini, I can add a layer. I can go and add a picture layer find the SD card, and I should find the graphic I created here. For this, we want it to be full frame, full height. So let's go ahead and set that up. And now this image is on top of the video. So I'll go ahead and click save. And now I have one source in the director mini, which is the exact thing I want to stream to Instagram. And now once this is ready, you can actually just go live on Instagram with RTMP. In the director mini, you'll want to use the custom RTMP server because there's no built-in Instagram settings. You can go to the Instagram live producer and get all the details here. I'm not going to go into all the details here because I actually already have a video all about how to use the Instagram live producer website. The link is down below. Now that I've got the details plugged into the director mini, let's take a look at the Instagram website. I'll go ahead and click the stream go live button, connect to RTMP. And within a few seconds, it should show up on the Instagram live producer website. So now we have the horizontal video in the ATEM, including all my camera switching, being sent into the Director Mini on the table. And as I change cameras on the ATEM, we can see it's changing on the Director Mini. The Director Mini is then pushing that into Instagram. So on Instagram, we have the live stream from the Director Mini, including all the camera angles that I did in the ATEM itself. So to summarize, your first streaming encoder streams your full 16 by nine horizontal video to YouTube, just like you would expect including the camera cuts, including everything framed the way you would for a 16 by nine horizontal video. That is gonna send an HDMI out into your second encoder, either OBS or in this example, the Director Mini. 
This is going to take that horizontal video, including the camera switching that you do, and overlay it on top of a image that is your background branding. This also gives you an opportunity to put other text or things up here, calls to action, say, go find me on YouTube, or anything else you want to share with your Instagram audience. This device streams via RTMP to Instagram. So on the Instagram Live Producer website, what we're seeing is the stream from the vertical canvas streamed without cropping into the middle. And that ends up being a lot nicer than streaming a cropped version of your stream, which may crop weird depending on how you've got your angles set up. Shrinking your horizontal stream into a vertical canvas gives you much more flexibility for how you can actually show content on your streams on Instagram. I hope this video has been helpful. Links to all the tools I used are down below in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.